Hi, my name is Ronit Mukherjee and I'm an Applications Engineer with Go Engineer. In today's quick tip video, I'm going to demonstrate how to create a worm gear. A worm gear can be used in many applications, for example, presses, rolling mills, mining industry, any lifts, any escalators, elevators, and many more. Let's see how we go about making this. First, we want to simply start by creating a cylinder. We'll give it a value of 40 millimeter. And we want to extrude this about its midplane and give it a value of 146 millimeters. Now, I want to create a helix that will be the path of my sweep. In order to do that, I need to sketch, I need a sketch of a circle on a plane where I want my helix to start. Let's create a plane first. I want to uh, select my right plane and I want to create a plane 75 millimeters parallel to the right plane. Once the plane is created, I want to start a sketch on that plane and use my convert entities feature to convert the edge of the circle onto that plane. Once the circle is created, I can select the helix tool from my features tab and define my helix by pitch and revolutions where my pitch is at 19 millimeters and I can give a, uh, my revolutions a value of eight. Say yes to that and you'll see your helix curve on that cylinder. Now, I want to create a plane that is normal to the endpoint of this helix. So when I drop a sketch on that plane, uh, that sketch is also normal to the helix. In order for me to create a plane that's normal uh, to the helix, I want to use the curve and the endpoint for my plane. Once the plane is created, either I can start a sketch on the plane and create a sketch for my profile. Or if you already have a profile present in your library features, you can drag and drop and place your profile. And definitely add a pierce relationship in your profile, uh, in your profile sketch and the curve. So we know uh, that when we create the sweep, the profile follows the path and is normal to at every given point. Once you say yes to the sweep, we can kind of see that a warm gear is almost ready. All we need to do is add some more features, maybe clean it up a little bit. Let's start a sketch of a rectangle on the front plane. I'm going to give it value of 100 millimeters for the length and 75 millimeters for the width. Now I want to utilize this sketch to clean up the extra material from the sweep. Using my feature scope command and telling SOLIDWORKS which side to cut, I can select the bodies, what to cut and which side to cut and say yes. Once the cut is done, now we can combine the two bodies using the combine feature and selecting the add operation. I can add some more details by cleaning up the two ends. Let's make a circle on this face with a diameter of 35 millimeters. And I want to extrude cut this inside 20 millimeters. Once the feature is complete on this end, I can use the mirror command to replicate that feature on the other side of the worm gear. I'll say yes to my mirror command. Here we go. Uh, we have our worm gear ready. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching.